Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's board game we're taking a look at is the Enigma Experience, and we're going to be focusing on the heist and mainly the demo variant of the game because I don't want to give you any spoilers to ruin the experience for you if you decide to purchase this product. The game is basically an escape room in a box, or in this case, in a painting, in which case players are going to recover an ancient painting or some unique item for their specific experience. They'll open it up and find the components presented inside of it. In this specific, specific one, it comes with things like VR goggles. It comes with things like magnifying glasses, different types of pens with different types of lighting or laser pointers and all that other good stuff that can be used with it. And of course, there's VR and AR technology for the game. Not only that, but you'll find some interesting things that I don't want to talk about too much, but like x-ray technology that you'll use on things like the painting here. Additionally, it's going to come with a bunch of little things, whether they be booklets, the explain explanation of how to play, it's going to have different photos that you can use the VR technology for, and you're going to be presented into a type of an adventure. In this one here, the heist, you're going to try and discover who, who found or who stole this specific painting here, but there are a ton of different experiences for you to choose from on the campaign. There is a ton of stuff to go over in the game and luckily they sent me a copy over. I previously did a preview sort of video for them a year or two ago with the Enigma box, which was basically an escape room in a box that would open up. It was a collectible. It also had a ton of different things and components and whatnot. Most of you who probably are seeing this video who have backed that previous game will have an idea of how this is played, but it is most likely going to be different in a lot of different ways, which I'll talk about down below. Unfortunately, with that game, I only had some extra press knowledge for it, but I didn't actually have the game in my possession, so I was only kind of able to talk off the cuff about what I think it would be like based on a couple of the things I did with it. But in this one here, I actually get to experience a good portion of the basic idea of how the game is going to function along with the different types of applications that will go into the game and my knowledge on riddles, which was, uh, let's be honest, not very good, but I still had a lot of fun regarding that. Anyway, I'll take it down below. We'll show you what comes in the game, the different types of things you're going to be getting, the quality of the components and whatnot. I imagine this is probably still not a full complete thing. It might be different in quality and whatnot. It might be a partial prototype. I'm not sure, but for what is in here, it could very likely even be just the entire game. So let's go ahead and take it down below. I'll show you what we get in the experience, how you open it up, and a couple of goodies, and then we'll come up and discuss my review of the game. Welcome to the Enigma experience, where we'll take a look at what you get in the game, at least for one of the specific types of experiences, because there are multiple, but I actually only have this one here, which is the heist. And when it came in the mail, it came in this specifically, uh, it looked like a kind of like a what you would see a very expensive or pricey painting and it was obviously not really an expensive pricey painting but it came in this like uh Oh, 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 fragile, protected, um, ancient type of thing. And when I opened it up, this was what was included here, which is a painting. And I, I'm sitting there going, what did, what is this? What, what did I, what did I uh, agree to do here? Is a painting, huh? Because I remember the them saying, talking to me about getting the Enigma experience and taking a look at it. And I was very, very excited about the previous Enigma box. And I'm like, yeah, I want to take a look at that. And so when I got this, I was just wasn't expecting it. And I'm like, oh, this is cool. I mean, I guess I can, I can put up my wall somewhere, whoever gave it to me, thank you. But when I went to the back of it, I actually realized that there was stuff inside here. And this is the premium Rome art gallery. And I'm like, hmm, I wonder if I can take this off. And it's attached by these little sticky things here. And as I took it off, I noticed there was a game inside. And this is what came inside. There were a bunch of different envelopes. There were police briefing envelopes as well. It came with this Enigma Experience uh, Certificate of Authenticity, which explained that there's a certain number of these games made and was specifically made for them. And it actually comes with a certificate as well as this little thing here. A bunch of different pieces of paper with unique symbols on them. Like you got this one here and this one here. These are all things I used specifically for the demo version of the game to see how it was played. But it came with a heck of a lot more as well. Uh, I typed top secret <laughs> little thing here with different, uh, I can't show you too much, but uh, different things inside of it, of course. This is an escape room style board game. If you've ever played games like Escape Room, the, uh, the game, and it's in a box, or Exit, or even the Sherlock Holmes one, you'll kind of get an idea of how this typically plays. 
came with this envelope here which explained a thank you note as well as what to expect from the game talked about what type of applications you'll be using like the zappo app as well as your qr code identifier and then it gave us a practice thing to give us an idea of what the types of things are going to get in this game and then it gave us a code as well as uh, how to try and solve it and what you get to see and in our case we got to see a video which was really cool uh, this of course is the code you'll use for the zappo app which i'll actually show you down below when we get into talking about the stuff more but uh how you use your phone or how you use your tablet as well in a group setting a learn to play uh, document which explains how the game functions and you're gonna go through that it tells you the different applications you'll use because they have their own app as well and it actually hooks up to Alexa which I didn't try but I'm sure it works just fine for giving hints and whatnot there's some things I haven't opened yet so I'm excited to wait for the app to start and that's why I'm gonna get into this and we'll probably do a playthrough of some type too because this uh, just the demo I'm, I'm kind of spoiling it but it was enjoyable for sure this is the VR goggles it came with as well that you'll actually attach to your phone you'll take this you'll slide it on It'll tell you exactly how to place it on it. Remind me of Chronicles of Crime as far as how it functioned. In fact, I actually use these for Chronicles of Crime. It worked just fine as well. This gives you a little bit of a, a VR style experience here. And then it came with a magnifying glass, which I've used as well. And then inside here is some unique different types of pens that you'll be using throughout the game, whether it's a specific type of pen that does unique things or whether it's something like this for your tablet. There's also a ruler. There's a level on it for different puzzles. And then this one over here, this one's got a little light that will shine. And uh, this will also reveal hidden secrets throughout the game. Uh, then you're going to be getting something like this, which is going to be different photos, which I open up as well and take a look at little photos that will actually have uh, a little thing you'll be putting over it to determine locations and coordinations and all that good stuff and more and more comes in this game this is the entire experience here and the rest of it the little box itself you can actually choose to hang up or put it somewhere on your wall in fact you probably put the entire game on your wall if you really wanted to i'm going to take this and put it here but it comes with quite a bit of stuff. And luckily for us, we get to try the demo, and which we'll be going into a little bit. I won't even give too many spoilers regarding that as well. There we go. But I do want to talk about all the different things you're going to be getting inside of this box here specifically. Now, like I said, there's multiple different Enigma experiences, and I specifically haven't tried all of them. I only tried even a portion of this one because there's so much content in it. Even just a little bit of content we played was quite a bit. It was actually the equivalent of doing just an exit room uh, game. So there's <laughs> there's that, that for you. But yeah, so anyway, this is pretty much a lot of the stuff you're going to be getting in the game of the Enigma experience for the game The Heist. We'll go down below. I'll show you the different things that we got to take a look at during the demo so you get a taste of how it kind of plays. I won't give away any necessary series spoilers but maybe some hints and tips as to how to complete that specific demo for you but i don't want to give it away in case it comes with it and you want to actually do it because it was pretty fun trying to figure it out and and challenging or at least for me so let's go ahead and take it down below now and i'll show you how to uh, use the anime experience to your uh pleasure let's begin to take a look at a little bit of the components for the game the heist and the first thing i want to do actually before i even get into that is i want to show you this painting one more time and give you an idea of some of the things that you'll be able to do in this game with things like your tablet or your phone. So here is the painting for the game, and this is the demo of the game, and it gives you a couple interesting things to scan on your phone with, just like that, let's see if I can get it, which I can then use with this little Zappo app here. And it does something very unique, very interesting. I don't know if you can see it or not, but he is moving his hands and he's drawing. This is one of the AR things that you'll be able to do in the game. It's pretty handy, pretty cool. And additionally, there's another thing you can do with this painting. Now, I have no idea what other things you can use with the Zappo app, other than what I've used on the demo. But there is this one as well, which is, if you can see that, the X-ray version of it. And there's a little key there. I wonder what that has to do with the game. And you'll be able to use this X-ray ability for this, this app as well. But regardless, that's just a little bit of what you can do with the game and how you can use it with the painting itself. Let's go ahead and take a look at this demo of the game. And th what they do is they give me this, which I wrote on all different people piece of paper so I could show you without giving away any of the any of the solutions to the game. And then I've got this in the VR goggles as well, which unfortunately I can't show you guys. Maybe I can find a way to put it on 
uh, well, editing, but we'll see. This is the first one here, and each one is going to require a different number or numerical or alphabetical solution or some combination of both. Here is where you're going to get certain a uh, uh, codes for QR. So we'll take this QR code reader, and then I'm going to go ahead and attach it to that. It'll give me a website to which I'll then be able to show you the, there's the AR experience, which is if you use the goggles or the glasses. I don't know if you can see it like that. But as you move it, it's going to rotate, as well as when you take the glasses and put it right in the middle here. You'll be able to see it as though you are kind of in the room, which is kind of a unique experience. But when you're playing with more than one player, you're probably just going to want to use the panorama version of the game. And you're going to want to put it to full screen. And you can just go ahead and rotate this around. And you'll be looking to find clues and hidden things like this one here. I'll show you the one here. So this one here is going to be part of the AR for the first clue. And it's also going to involve these keys here. And this is all you need to solve the first one here. And so if you look, this is going to have a specific set up of, of what the key is supposed to look like. You need to find the, the real key. And you're looking at this locker here, and you have 31, 33, 35, 37. There's some other lockers down here. Which one of the keys holds the, inf the answer? And there's a way, if you actually turn this to the side, you'll notice that on this key, it has a very similar style to it as far as the markings on this piece of paper go. And then there's the number above. Fairly simple, right? Which you would then enter down here as part of the code to the website to get the uh, kind of introductory video for the game, the Enigma experience. But that is one way in which you'll be using the QR code. And that's just one of the spoilers, but there's a ton to this game, so you're not gonna be missing out on much. Another one here will involve the periodic table of elements. You'll get this here, you'll get this chart here. These will represent maybe atomic numbers, maybe the numbers of the periodic table themselves, the atomic numbers. And you're basically going to be trying to solve for a numerical and or alphabetical digit or two uh, based on the solution here. You'll try and find the different elements, how you maybe have to combine them, who knows, but that is part of the game. Another one here is this one, which is going to be a menu, actually, and it looks like an old timey menu. As you can see, it's going to have prices on it, some certain things listed and on the background. So it looks like an old timey menus. Another reason you'll know this is part of the demo is it has these little unlock symbols here. And in the game, you're going to be getting a whole, di a whole bunch of different types of symbols. There'll be lines telling you to go forward, to go backwards, things that are telling you you'll need more information. And then of course, little symbols that will illustrate what goes with what during the storyline of how you progress throughout the game. But you'll be using this menu to try and find another numerical code based on maybe hidden information information on the board, maybe some typos, stuff like that. Maybe you'll find something on the bottom here, which will have a number of some sort that will correlate to something on the menu. Moving on, here's another one here. And this, this one's kind of cool too. This one is actually using the Zappo app as well. And you go ahead and go to the Zappo app. And we're going to go ahead and see what, what other interesting thing we can find here. And I'll show you how this one works. Oof, there we go. I don't know if you can see that here, but I'll even move it up a little closer for you guys. And what's cool about this as well is you can rotate it to see the bottom and the top. How cool is that, right? And you'll be using this to find the, another code, another clue. It may inherently just be on the AR itself or may involve using this as well. But regardless, there's another really cool one that involves using the Zappo app. And then yet again, some grids and as well as computer language that you'll have to try and solve based on looking at this computer language. You don't necessarily need to understand how computer language works. This is more of a... Uh, it's more of trying to figure it out based on using your mind and how things correlate with each other and then solving on this grid here, to which point we were then able to solve this little equation here and put it into the Enigma code to get a special video for us. But that was just the demo for the game. And as I showed you before, there's a ton of other content that comes in the game, things you might be using, these VR glasses, like I said, and as well as all this extra stuff here. And of course you get the painting itself, which is pretty cool. And you can even put in the game, the game on the wall, which was nice. <laughs> Maybe you'll want to surprise your friends by taking this out off of the wall and being like, let's play a game, the Enigma experience. Reviewing an escape room game can be a challenging thing. And one of the main reasons is because you do not want to give too much away from the experience for people to enjoy. 
Luckily, this game came with a little bit of a demo to give us a taste of all the things I can expect to experience when we play the full version of the game, when we get the application from the Enigma experience to try out all the unique and interesting things that are added to this, because there are things I didn't try, like using, I use a little bit of the magnifying glass, but things like the pens and the lighting equipment and the ruler and even the leveler, things that will be part of the game, as well as grids and locations and all that kind of stuff. But regardless, there is a lot I actually can talk about, especially now that I've actually gotten a chance to go fully throughout the game and give it a good looky-loo. The quality of the components is the first thing I can talk about. And when I got this, I thought it was just a, I just thought it was a painting that somebody sent me, a full open art type of canvas painting. It is made with canvas, it is wood, and on the background it does have what you would expect to see an open frame picture to look like. So when I popped it up, I, I was like, what is this? It's very interesting, very intriguing. And I was very, very excited after realizing that it was a game, it was an ex ex escape room experience, and popping that off and seeing all of the components inside. This comes with a lot of different things. Now, I can't tell you how long the game takes to play. You can look at the Kickstarter and determine for yourself how long that takes. But what I can say is just the demo alone took us about 45 minutes just to get an, a good understanding of the, a taste of how the gameplay works. And that's really with just five or six pieces of paper, including using the app and the AR and the, and the QR code reader. But even with that, it was a fun experience. Being able to try out things like the X-ray and seeing the movement, the motion, uh, trying to use the AR to look around the room to find hidden clues as to what could be happening as to how the painting was stolen and different things like that. Now, is it similar to other escape rooms? Yes, there are certain there are certain aspects to this game that are very similar to something you'd expect to find on Exit or Escape Room, the board game, the adventure games, those ones there that will present something unique to it, like looking on the box, for example, as to find something interesting or a pathway as to how you solve it. But this game comes with a lot more content than any other escape room game I've played yet or thus far, those ones being that I explained before are included. This one here also presents some unique and interesting things, like of course the AR, which I'd never seen before, the X-ray, and even just the movement on the, 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 the painting itself. The challenges as far as difficulty, I would say range as far as fairly simple to highly complex, and it really just depends on how your brain functions. The game can be played with as many players as you'd probably like to fit in a room, However, I think it's going to be best experienced with maybe two to four players. I haven't played the full main game of it, so it might be that people can do a certain thing with, you know, this specific puzzle and another thing with this specific puzzle, and you could use certain teams for that. But as far as just what I have played, I think it's probably going to fit nicely with about four players, two to four. And you can easily play this solo as you're just going through it, and I think you'll have a lot of fun with it. Personally, me and Grant sat through this and played through it and had a lot of fun with the Enigma experience. And I think this is definitely a product that for those of you who can afford a high quality style escape room experience are gonna wanna choose to pick up. Now, is it, it, it cause it's an expensive product. Like I think it's like two, it's anywhere from like 150 to 200 bucks I think for the experience itself, but there is a bundle as well. But when you really think about it, like I explained in my previous video about the, the Enigma box, this one holds true as well. If you have four players that want to play this game and each of them pitches in a certain amount, whether it be 30 to 50 bucks, they're going to get their money's worth, especially if you consider games or escape room experiences that you would go out and I would go out to head out to LA and do an escape room where you go in through the room and look around and stuff like that. This comes with a lot of the components that you would expect to experience in those type of rooms. So where it's not exactly as hands-on and crazy as like walking around in rooms is something you would expect to find in real life going to an actual location, it does hold a lot more more components and a lot higher quality components than any other previous escape room I have played and thusly it's definitely worth taking a look at especially on a rainy night with four players sitting down and playing something like this you could probably have multiple rainy nights to sit down and play something like this through I highly enjoyed my experience uh, the negatives I guess I could say is that of course the complexity it ranges and it varies depending on your mindset and having multiple players will help you in that degree and I can imagine people being stuck in certain areas however there is the new Alexa app that I think they've included in the game where you can actually get hints and tips as to how to complete the experience what they say is it takes at least 10 hours or so or more to complete and I mean I would guesstimate that that's probably an accurate description it probably takes a little bit more than that just based on our demo experience of the game if they put you know, a good amount of time into it, which based on the components here, I would imagine that they have 
and all the things are nice. I can say for sure that they went and took their time to make this thing, like even this one here, this this thing here is, is, is nice. The quality of paper looks like it's old. It reminds me of an old timey thing. The menu looks old. They actually spent their time to research what it would look like to look, look for things that are older. Ooh, look at this. E they even grayed out the pages to make it look like an old timey notebook, which is really cool. Regardless though, I'm curious to know what you guys think about the Enigma experience. Is it something you'd want to pick up? Overall, I had a pleasant time with the experience and I'm very excited to see what all the rest of the escape rooms look like and how they how they unfold throughout the Kickstarter. And if you're interested in picking up this game, go ahead and take a look down below, link in the description for the Enigma experience. You can pick up any one of the, I believe, four different types of experiences or the bundle itself. Anyway, outro. Thank you guys so much for watching our review of the Enigma experience. If you're interested, go ahead down below, click the link and see what the game is like and whether or not you want to pick it up. I know that it might be a little bit more pricey because this is more of a deluxe product, but remember when going in with people could be fairly easy or if you just got the cash to spend, I would suggest taking a look at it as well as checking out the rest of our videos here on YouTube. Like, subscribe please and comment. It does greatly help as well as sharing this video out if you want to get the word out for a specific game you enjoy and hope to have it funded more so you get more unique stretch goals or maybe more deluxe content as well as checking out our website unfilteredgamer.com blog posts giveaways rules editors miniature painters artists all kinds of stuff on there you can take a look at as well as taking a look at our friends everythingboardgames.com and the giveaway geek they give away a ton of stuff they also do a bunch of reviews and all that other good stuff and you can take a look on their sites down below thank you guys so much and i look forward to seeing in the comments below what you guys think about the enigma experience as well as the previous enigma box i did take some time to go through and see what they, people thought about it. There was mixed reviews to it, but they all generally seem to really enjoy that product and I thought they would. It seemed to me like it was gonna be a really fun product. I'm very, very happy to see this product hit the tabletop, get a chance to play it and experience it for myself. And I'm also happy to tell you that I enjoyed it. So go ahead and take a look at it down below. Thank you so much. As always, I look forward to seeing you guys in the experience next time.